Ndorushwambo. Uh, thanks, Chair. I, I, I want this uh, Ellen Susman Foundation to explain this wild allegation and supposition that they are making here that expropriation without compensation cannot be justified if the beneficiaries come from the wealthier sections of society. If this happens, the position of the poor will worsen and political dissatisfaction will, will, will increase. I, I, I would need the clearer context. And, and quickly, Chair, they keep on making reference as well to the high-level panel report of which was chaired by former President Helma Motland. One is that that report was not sanctioned by Parliament. It has never been adopted by Parliament. It's not, it doesn't have any official status. It's, it's an opinion of people like, like your opinion. It doesn't, it's got no status. It was a, the, the speaker's issue, which has got nothing to do with official parliamentary resolutions. So it has got no status in terms of uh, what should happen. But also, aren't, aren't you suggesting that we must keep the status quo in terms of land ownership, which is predominantly white because of colonial dispossession, because of apartheid, which Helen Susman participated in and legitimated by being part of the apartheid parliament. And aren't, 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 you, aren't you suggesting... Point of order, Chair. Uh, Sierra, point of order. No, Honourable Member, you're not supposed to wait for him to finish with the point yeah. of order, and you know that. All right, let's hear the point of it order. It is fundamentally clear that Helen Susman in, uh, spent her entire life fighting against the apartheid system. That's a point and of what argument. Mr. Uh, Shibamba has just said is patently untrue. All right. The, yeah, no, no, that's the... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's the point of debate now. Yeah, it's, it's a point it's of debate, yeah. Chair. And no, no, please. Even the objection is not yeah, correct yeah. because Ellen Susman was an apartheid collaborationist who, who yeah. even campaigned for the yeah. increase of social grants for whites no, no, only. No, no, A white supremacist. So we are not shocked even by the position of the Ellen Susman Foundation because she was a reactionary who pretended to be against apartheid. The question yeah. is, are you saying we should maintain the apartheid property relations where the white minority are in ownership and control of the land at expense of the black indigenous populations who are dispossessed through violence, through murder, through rape, through all sorts of harassment that got to violently remove our people from the land. I say that we must just keep the status quo. And if not, what else do we do except removing a stumbling block that says that if we were to amend, if we were to take back the land, there must be payments, there must be amounts, because the Constitution mentions payment. The Constitution mentions amounts. Are you saying we must leave that, uh, we, we must not do anything about the Constitution? Is that what you come to come and say, you, you left wherever you came from, to come and present yeah. here? That we must leave the status quo in terms of the Constitution. Three old white men who benefited uh, under uh, apartheid uh, uh, coming uh, here to say Rambo. that uh, we must not change the constitution. It's not You're acceptable. You're going to take some control over this meeting on, on, at some point. Hey. No, Honorable, no. Honorable Shivambo, no, no. please, no, no. Let's, treat, let's, treat, no, no. let's treat our fellow citizens with, uh, with respect no. and dignity. Ellen Susman, whatever the views they, rep they represent, they are legitimate, they are here uh, with, um, uh, within, within the rights that are accorded to them. So we can't attack them for being here and for expressing whatever the view and representing whatever the values they represent. So uh, please refrain, and I've been asking you today to refrain. It's wrong. Uh, uh, Helen Sussman, please answer. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'm, I'm not sure that you're aware that the honorable member here next to me is just ignoring you. Who? She carries Sorry? on her own conversation. She doesn't listen to anything you say when you make a ruling, and she just carries on waffling on in her own. Uh, could you put over this meeting? What's your problem when? Uh, Mr. Chairman, please, Mr. please Mr. let's treat this process with integrity. Mr. Please. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, as, as, uh, as the, the meeting is beginning to get out of order in a way which is 
from my point of view, at least as the director, unacceptable. May I ask you to adjourn the meeting for five minutes? I'm aware that blood sugar levels may be causing this. Until your, the members of your committee have calmed down, would you consider that, please, Mr. Chairman? Uh, no, no. Honorable Shivambo, please help us. And, and please refrain, members, to do this. The issue is Chairperson. that uh, you went beyond Chairperson. the scope of the committee, and that's out of order. Chair, I'm no, really no, sorry. No, but you have to respect the process and treat the process with integrity. You as an honorable member, and don't attack the presenters, and don't go beyond the scope that the committee has agreed upon. That's the principle. Chairperson, I'm really sorry. Yes, Honourable uh, Carter. Yeah, Jay, I really think to, for a member to stand here and tell another member that I'm going to, and I'm sorry I'm quoting Bluxom you, is really not the thing to do. I really think that the member should leave this committee. This is just not acceptable. I'll be happy to leave the committee, Mr. Mr. Chair. So, sorry? Who, who said? All right, no. No, no, members, please, let's, let's continue. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't conduct yourselves like this. Oh, members, you can't conduct by self, yourselves like that. You are even, chair, asked, chair. You are even asked by the, the guests to, to go and cool off. Uh, uh, Chairperson, can can, right. Chairperson yes, just sir. quickly on the point of order. So this member from uh, the, 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 the phasing out organization called COOP, says that she's calling a point of order because someone said a uh, black sam and then she thought it is the member no, of i think the she EFF. meant white sam and then and then what happened then the person who said black sam owns up that it's her who said it but immediately she withdraws that because it's a white person who said it but when it's a black person she was saying you must remove that person from the committee like it's 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 one of the issues that we're yeah. dealing with here members don't, I mean, I, I, you, 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 I, I don't understand what, what are you all dealing about. The position of Ellen Susman Foundation is before you. If you need clarity, ask clarity there. Whatever you are trying to do, you, you will have your opportunity at, at a particular time. Why do you raise your blood sugar? Really, why? I don't understand it. You can't change anybody. Yeah, you have no power to do that. And, uh, uh, Helen Susman, please uh, uh, reply if there's anything to reply. Chair, there's quite a lot to reply. All I right. presume that this sort of altercation, which members of parliament are probably used to, but which don't happen out there in the real world, are not going to impact on the time which we have in order to present, discuss, and deliberate. So I, 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 I will presume that that is, will, will, will indicate uh, our position. Firstly, on the question of the high-level panel, of course it's not a parliamentary committee. Uh, members of parliament may not presume that uh, people outside of parliament suffer from a severe lack of intelligence. We can read, we understand what it is. It's a policy document. We are a research institution of the first, in the first order. We look at a wide variety of research in arriving at a decision. And in terms of the research for that uh, particular chapter, uh, perhaps the, the, one of the most informed uh, researchers, Aninka Klaassen, had a major uh, and a significant role. Aninka Klaassen has a long history of land, uh, and I would like to say that is why it's, we looked at it, because it's a very comprehensive view of, of the issue. Secondly, the, and I must address this, and uh, this will not come out of our time, I trust, Mr. Chairman, on the question of Helen Sussman. I find that the remarks about her being a reactionary and so on and so forth, deeply objectionable. Point of order, Chair. No, point of order, Chair. I, 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 point of order, Chair, please. Uh, Honourable Fultan. Thank you. The, no, no. May I humbly appeal to the Speaker uh, through you to uh, stop making constant references to what is happening on this side of the house. That's beyond his scope. He must just stick to the subject yeah. matter. No. If Honor he's Honor done, Fultan. out uh, uh. of parliament. No, no. Thank Honor, you. Honor Fultan, you, you know that you, you first don't throw stones if you're living in a glass house. 
So because they have a right to reply. They, they, can't, they can't go when a record... You see, when you speak here, you speak on a record. Somebody speaks on a record and they go without correcting a record. It cannot be acceptable. So don't do... Correcting us. Don't, don't, you can't keep on correcting us. No, no. Or when you say things beyond the scope, when you invite them on a particular scope, you go beyond the scope, then they have a right to reply. It's just common sense. Come no, allow, allow them, Chair, to defend the reactionary apartheid corroborationist yeah. called no, no. Ellen Susman who participated Shivambo, in I apartheid requested. parliament. No, no. Honorable allow Shivambo. them, please. Come and regulate our behavior here. You don't. No, no, no. They, they don't, but you are also regulated in terms of how you conduct yourselves and express yourself. All right. Honorable, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, continue, uh, Director. Thank you very much. I uh, wish I was asked to respond to four different issues, uh, the second one being Helen Sussman, uh, and I'm responding to it. I reject that out of hand. I cannot be responsible for other people's lack of a history. Thirdly, the question of dispossession from both uh, as a result of colonialism is a widespread uh, uh, history. Uh, the obvious people in terms of the imperial and the colonial and later on the apartheid uh, um, projects are black people, not only black people, uh, Indians, coloreds as well. Later on, even Jews, believe it or not, and others such as Middle Easterners uh, are all dispossessed. So this question of dispossession and colonialism is important. We've got to address this for all South Africans. And that is our plea, that dispossession is, is a complex social issue. How do we address it? My colleagues have said changing the constitution is not going to address it. There is it already existing, uh, the existing framework to address it. Uh, my colleague had spoken about the, the, the failure, as Ruth Hall said the other day in this very chamber, we're asking the wrong questions. It's not about changing the constitution. It's about why hasn't government for the last quarter of a century addressed that question? I'm quoting her. And on the question finally, and I was dismayed that it came up about three white old men. The operative word here is not white. I'm so pleased now I've been reclassified in terms of the Population Registration Act. I'm delighted or not, as the case may be. Uh, I would say the operative word is old. The Helen Sisman Foundation, like all NGOs, is constrained. We are all retired men, and that's why we take this job up, because we're passionate about this country, we are passionate about justice, and we are passionate about fairness. Thank you.